Now we can do a GRE quantitative comparison question that 48% of the people got wrong when they took it on an official GRE test. We're given a figure at the top, and it's explained to us at the top. We have an equilateral triangle, PQR. It's formed by joining the centers of P, Q, and R of the circles. Each pair of circles has exactly one point in common. And we're comparing two columns. Column A asks us about the perimeter of triangle PQR, and column B asks us about the circumference of the circle with the center Q. We can break the problem down into its component parts. We start out with an equilateral triangle PQR, and then we have three circles P, Q, and R. And then the two columns. Column A asks us about the perimeter of triangle PQR, and column B asks us about the circumference of the circle with a center of Q. Each column is asking us about the outside of the figure, and each column has a formula. The perimeter of the triangle is the sum of all the sides, so that equals PQ plus QR plus RP, and the circumference is running around the outside of the circle, and that has the formula 2 times pi r. As soon as we recognize that column B has pi in the formula, and column A doesn't have pi, we can cross out answer C, because nobody knows what pi is exactly, and so pi can't be equal to anything else. We can begin our solution by looking at column B, which talks about the circle with the center of Q, which is the top circle, which includes the top part of the triangle. We can look at the top part of the triangle and realize that each one of those little lines is actually a radius of that circle. And so we can simplify our arithmetic if we just label that radius 1 and then plug that into the formula 2 pi r. If r is 1, then 2 pi is our circumference. Then we can look at the whole triangle and we realize that each triangle has two of those ones on each side. And so we can look at the formula for the perimeter. Turns into 2 plus 2 plus 2, so our perimeter is 6. Now we go back to column B, and we remember that pi is about 3.1416, etc., which is a little more than 3. So 2 times pi is a little more than 6, which is a little more than 6, which is column A. So our answer is B. The quantity in column B is greater. Testing for the public. Nonprofit since 1985. No one makes things easier.